afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds. Now batting, Kevin Newman. He will lead this one off today. The one-two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder giving chase, but this will land untouched. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here now the 2-2. A swing and a ground ball to third, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. 2-1 pitch, a knuckle curve swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Castellanos will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Nick Castellanos now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. In now, Jesse Winker. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Castellanos aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So up steps the former MVP Joey Votto. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. A 1 1. Lifted in the air out to center field. Reynolds is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, that Eugenio cool. Suarez. The First opportunity man. for him here with the leadoff go. man still standing at second. Oh, two bro. gone now. A ball and two strikes. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. The set and the one two. Nope, at the ball. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. And that misses ball four, so That's it's first good. and second now with two out. Two men are on with two men out. Okay. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Here's the two and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached that base via the base on ball. The right fielder, number 44. 
the payoff pitch. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Second inning set to go. Josh Bell the next to hit. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And an offline throw, but he just does get back to the bag for the put out. At the plate, Colin Moran. His numbers against Trevor Bauer. He's one for five. The three-one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. He'll try it again, three and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Another payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. Here's Gregory Polanco. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Polanco. The 1-1 one -one home. Strike two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Galvis, relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. That is seven. Stepping into the box, Kevin Kramer. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. All even now, two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. The set and the 1 1. High fly ball out to deep right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Ready now, Freddie Galvis will begin things here against Jamison Tyone. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. At the plate, Tucker Barnhart. He's two for seven in the series so far. The 2 1. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two run homer. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Got it back in time there, and it's 2 and 1. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. And now a two-strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. One there. On to first, a double play. So a man at third here with two gone. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. A one-two pitch. They try to come in with a fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even a two-and-two. Two. 
lofted in the air out to right field. Polanco has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Jamison Tyon, 9 1 and 2 due up. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Now here it comes. Outside in a full count, three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. The payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and the Pirates are in the hit column. So now to the plate, Kevin Newman softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. To second for one, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. How bad? Striding into the box, Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. The 2 1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first out. Coming to the plate now, Joey Votto. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. 1 1. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Reynolds comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. So now the Reds cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez, comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. Now the one and one pitch. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. To the plate now, Mike Mustakis. Rip down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Brian Reynolds, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. A one one. Line toward right center. Around first, he's digging for second. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. And it's fouled away. The one two. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now Stepping in and ready for another Colin shot, Moran. Colin Moran, Moran. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. 
And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. The right fielder, Gregory. At the plate, Gregory Polanco pulled toward right center field. Number 44 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Ready for another chance. Kevin Kramer, runner in scoring position with two gone. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Pirates. A little roller toward the hole. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. In now for the Reds, Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Pitch popped up. Moran is calling for it. Two gone. Ready now for Cincinnati. Now Tucker Barnhart reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Polanco has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again. Jacob Stallings. He flew out in his last at bat. And the pitch on two and one. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Jamison Tyone. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And Mustakas has this one for route number two. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Adam Frazier would be next. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. So here's Adam Frazier. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Number 44 is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Bauer, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1. One -one. Liner towards second. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Now batting, left Nick. Standing in now, Nicholas Castellanos. 
And he misses two and one. Two and two. Of course, there was a fastball. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The center fielder, number 43, Jesse. Into the box, Winker. Jesse Winker. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Just hung in there on that one. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now back. In is Joey Votto now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the payoff pitch. First and second now, one man out. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. There's one. The relay on to first. The double play and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Brian Reynolds, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. The first baseman, number 55. At the plate now, Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Uh, tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Josh Bell goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Here's a little chopper up the middle. The second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Stephen Brault enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 43. Ready for another shot now. Eugenio Suarez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Into the box now, Mike Mustakis. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Now batting, number 44. So now to the plate, Aristides Aquino. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is line to left. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Runner at second, one away. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Three and one pitch. One out and a runner on second base. Fly ball right down the line and left. 
And they can't run it down. Hit out towards second. Newman fields it cleanly. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So a runner at third. Two men are out. And next to bat will be Tucker Barnhart. Men on third with two down. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. At the plate, Trevor Bauer on the run. This one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. And we'll have to leave it there, as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Leading off the inning, Gregory Polanco. And they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The count now at 2-1. and one. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Right fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. Rysel Iglesias comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. In now, Kevin Kramer. Hit in the air to left. Left fielder giving chase, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now back, Kevin. Jacob. Into the box, Jacob Stallings. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Two balls and two strikes the count of the Pirates catcher. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move, and a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The pick, number 43. At the plate now, Stephen Brault. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. To second for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So the lineup flips over and digging in Kevin Newman as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. He's in there at the plate. And this ball game is tied here in the seventh. Digging in, Adam Frazier. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. A 3-1 count to the left fielder of the Bucks. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. In to score is the runner from first. Now a 5-3 game. Wade Miley will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. Stepping in now, Josh Bell hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And another foul ball. Four runs here in this half inning. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Colin Moran would be next. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. 
Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Votto is there. And the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. So far, two for three in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So striding in, Jesse Winker. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now the 2 1. One out, nobody on. Three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Newman backs up and takes care of it. Two away. The Digging back. in, Joey Votto. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Votto. The one two. Misses, ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rounded to the right. Bell picks it up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Into the box. Colin Moran. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. It's one and two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Moran is retired and there's one away. Stepping up now Gregory Polanco is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And hey it was a breaking ball to boot. This and he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Meanwhile, now this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. The batter, number 44. Standing in now, Kevin Kramer. Well, that's Outside, two and one. Runner at second here with one man out. 3-1 the count of the Pirates shortstop. Doesn't want any part of that cutter and it's full three and two. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance and that'll get down out there near the wall. Into the box now, Jacob Stallings takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Winker is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. 
Michael Feliz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45. Michael. Digging in and looking for more. Eugenio Suarez. He singled his last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Frazier is there, and he'll bring this one in. Standing in, Mike Mustakis. He's one for two in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball well outside. Swing and a miss, two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Still even at two and two. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Count remains two and two. Now the pitch. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. Another try at 2 2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. The bat, number 44. In now, Aristides Aquino. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Freddie Galvis, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. One out and a runner on second base. Right side, hit hard. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Into the box, Freddie Galvis. This ball will be chopped foul. Runners are at the corners with one man out. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a good idea to hang close at first as he'll make it back easily. Hard hit ball to second. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he catches in with a base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 5-4 to four ball game. At the plate, Tucker Barnhart. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Mark Payton will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. A ball and two strikes now. Misses badly. It's ball two. 
Drops to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Bell brings it in. One there. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Robert Stevenson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Newman, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Hot shot down the line and a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it and the leadoff man's aboard. Now that the left fielder, Adam Frazier. At the plate now, Adam Frazier. Two and two to Adam Frazier. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Winker will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Runners on the move for second. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Shot back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Throw comes back in quickly, holding the lead runner at third, now but the batter was able to hustle up to second with two away. Moran. So now to the plate, Colin Moran struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Keone Kella comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 35. Now in the box, Nicholas Castellanos. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Nicholas Castellanos is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. To two and two now. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Count still full, three and two. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Standing in now, Joey Votto. That's a ball. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted the other way to left center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready once again, Eugenio Suarez. He homered back in the third inning in this one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning.
New inning set to get underway. Into the box now. Gregory Polanco. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Now the one and one pitch is in off the plate. Hey, there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now with the plate, Kevin Kramer. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fielded by Votto, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the Buccos, Jacob Stallings. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. From the windup, the 1-1. One -one. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Nick Birdie comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. So stepping in, Mike Mustakis. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A-B. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. Striding in, Aristides Aquino. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Up with it, Maley. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Freddie Galvis. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. And there's ball two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley, and he'll be the one to get the 11th underway. Now the 2-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. The next 3-2. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra now innings. That's second base. Now to the Kevin. plate, Kevin Newman. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. The one and one pitch. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Barnhart is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Frazier. He's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the 2-2 pitch. 
slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get to Galvis and nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One and two. It's high for a ball. It's two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Number 44 is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Riding in once again, Tucker Barnhart. It was a walk in his last trip. No contact there, and it's one and two. Hard hit ball to second. Newman brings it in. And there's one away. Kirk to Sally will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. The ball in two strikes. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. The left fielder, two. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. A ball and two strikes now. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. And that's lifted the other way out to left. In there, a base hit. Nick Senzel will come on now and pinch run here. The first baseman, Joey Votto. To the plate now, Joey Votto. In for strike two. To two balls and two strikes now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Bullet back up the middle. Reynolds is there to make the catch. And that means we've got more baseball ahead. Lorenzo gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 21. Michael. On to the 12th frame in this one. Stepping into the box, Josh Bell. And looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. Taken but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another 2-2 offering. Okay. Oh. 
sky down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball pitch on the way fouled away and he struck out again that's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one so digging in now Colin Moran he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat and you can live with punching out with the bases empty but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position you cannot go down not putting the ball in play too much on the line too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot stepping in now Gregory Polanco and this is low ball two two and one hey he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play good job to let it go by though as a hitter off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball Kevin Kramer is on deck the three one pitch lazy fly ball out to center field Senzel comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for route number two. In now, now Kevin back. Kramer. There number are two four. gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Now the 2-1. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3-1 pitch. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Senzel backing up on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Richard Rodriguez will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best-case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Number 48. Digging in now, Eugenio Suarez. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Batting eight. Number From four. the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. No too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Number 15. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two and two. Number 51. Jason. Brady half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The batter, now at the plate, Mike Mustakis. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Fouled off. Now another one-two. Hit hard, but this is a foul ball. The one-two. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Standing in, Aristides Aquino. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Dyson's there, and the inning is over. Thirteenth inning ready to begin. So striding forward now, Gerard Dyson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Lays off two and two now. Pops this one up. Suarez moving to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Coming to the plate now, Luke Maley. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1-1 home. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now that. Second base. 
Kevin Newman. At the plate, Kevin Newman just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now the one and two pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He spoils another one and will do it again. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Matt Bowman takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. Now there are two Matt on with only one away. Martin. Into the box now, Jason Martin. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Now the one and two pitch. Runners are at first and second with one away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Here's a pop up now. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for route number two. Stepping in, Brian Reynolds. He enters this plate appearance three for six in the ball game thus far. The set and the 3 1 pitch. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves over to third down. Bases are loaded here, two down. Pitch popped up. Suarez is there for it. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Last half of the 13th inning set to go. Stepping in, Freddie Galvis. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Two and two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. He pulls this one into right. Dyson is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. One out, nobody on. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Philip Irvin will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Left side. Reined in. Roll on to first is going to be in time, and that means 13 innings won't even settle this one as that ends the inning. Pedro Stroke comes on now, and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. Settling in now, Colin Moran. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. This is line to left, so he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. So the leadoff hitter's aboard. Pitcher due up looks to be a textbook sacrifice situation.
Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Popped up. Suarez over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Gerard Dyson. Oh, he popped out in his first trip. Right yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Two balls and a strike to count. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Now back. Check it. Luke Maley. At the plate now, Luke Maley. And it's fouled away. A one-two pitch. Whoa, two down runners at first and second. Skied into straightaway right. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yeah, Robbie Erlin is going to finally now make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. Here. Robbie Erlin. At the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. It was a walk in his last trip. This one's up around the eyes, two and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. That can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. And that's the first down. So coming to the plate, Nick Senzel, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 3-1. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. When you get the extra innings, you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate. But he says, hey, to heck with that. I'm going to do it with one swing of the bat. So a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras. That was fun. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game. And more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. A 
one run game six to five the final today Pedro Stroke claims the win out of the pen his first so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com the final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Six runs on 13 hits. One error, they left 12 men on base. For the Pirates, five runs on 17 hits. No errors, they left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.